This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Netflix. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the state of Apple after Steve Jobs. Now, if you didn't know already, the co-founder of Apple and also the CEO, the former CEO, I would say, uh, Steve Jobs passed away last week. And a lot of people have been asking me on Facebook and, and, and Twitter and also in my email inbox about whether I think that Apple will still be to continue their success after Steve's passing. And I'm a strong believer in and that I think that they will absolutely continue their success um, at least for at least the next five years. Now, I'm not Nostradamus. I can't see past five years, but I can't really see up to five years anyway. But I think that they'll be straight uh, for at least five years. And that's one in part because I think, you know, as sucky as this just may seem but this might be by me saying this, I think Steve actually saw this coming. Um, you know, he's, he's fought this illness for many, many years now. And I think eventually, even though he, he had this part of the spirit to fight through it and he'll overcome it. Um, he had to see that it was time to get his team prepared just in case it really did happen, uh, that he really did pass away. So I think uh, with the new CEO, Tim Cook, and I also think everybody else in his cabinet and his, just his team in general, um, they were instilled with the philosophy about where Apple, Apple was going to be going over the next few years by Steve. And I think Steve was able to continue to put his vision and just punch it right through their chest uh, about where he would want Apple to be um, probably later, later than five years, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. And so... With that, I think Tim Cook would do a really good job. I and mean, he was Steve's right-hand man in Apple for uh, many, many years. So uh, he knows Steve very well, and he knows Apple itself, what's going to be best for Apple uh, coming up. And um, so I think that's one of the reasons why I think Apple will be, will be good. And two, I think uh, these big type of tech companies and electronic uh, manufacturers like Apple, uh, they have to be ahead of the game as far as their release of their product. So um, I think they're at least for two or three years, their product lineup is probably already set. They probably know exactly what they're going to be releasing um, in 2013 or 2014. And, uh, and I'll just give an example. Probably when the iPad 1 was launched, they were probably already testing the iPad 2. And then they probably the iPad 3 was coming out of the um, kind of development stage. So uh, I think there's still be at least straight for at least two or three years as far as their products with some really, really good, strong product lineups. And in three, I think 2012 is going to be a huge year. Uh, 2011 wasn't a bad year. I mean, we saw the iPad 2, we got the iPhone 4S now, um, Mac OS 10 line launched, new Final Cut. Uh, well, let me take that bad. Some people don't like it, but new Final Cut, I'll say. Uh, we got iOS 5. I mean, it, it, was a, it was a good year. It wasn't a bad year at all, but it wasn't really that many products out there that just made you go, Ah, ooh, a lot of brand new products released by Apple. But I think 2012 will be that year. Where we'll, we'll probably see one or two new products that we haven't seen before. And also, too, I think that existing products like the Mac Pro, which is long overdue for an update and especially a design change, that would happen. We'll probably see some 15, 17 inch MacBook Airs, or we'll see a MacBook, the MacBook Pros finally transition over to the, uh, the MacBook Air design in the 15 to 7 inch version, 17 inch version. So I think that would be really cool once they finally release those, maybe a quad core uh, MacBook Air 15 inch. I'll take that. Uh, but I think we'll probably see that. And then we'll see a true iPhone 5. We'll see an, an updated Apple TV. I, I really think, and the iPad 3, of course, possibly with the retina display. And I hate to get into rumors. I'm not going to go all in about that. But I really think their product lineup for 2012 and beyond will be very, very strong. And so just ultimately, Apple, I think, will be A-OK. -okay. I think they'll be just fine. Will they stumble? Yes. They'll probably make some mistakes. But they made some mistakes when Steve was even there. I mean, I remember when Mobile Me just launched. It was horrible. Um, so <laughs> Steve really got into him about that, too, as well. Um, you can probably read that in his upcoming book. But, um, um, but yeah, I, I really think that Apple will continue their success. I think that they have a really good, strong leadership team. And I think everybody at Apple will probably want to continue Steve's legacy and continue to, to do Steve proud. Um, even that he's not here with us right now. And if you look at Apple as a business, their stock is doing crazy. Um, in the cell phone game, the iPhone is still one of the top phones out there. Then in the tablets, the iPad is still the number one tablet out there. Um, and then they have billions in cash reserves. I mean, Steve really left Apple in the best position that he possibly could. And so it'll be it'll be up to Apple to actually lose this momentum. But I think Apple will still continue to go strong. So anyway, guys, these are just my thoughts about the state of Apple. But before we head out of here, just going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video. And today's sponsor is Netflix. If you didn't know already, Netflix can stream thousands of movies directly to your TV set via an Xbox, PlayStation 3, Nintendo Wii, or even something like an Apple TV. And also most cell phones and tablets right now do have a Netflix application. So while you're on the go, you're waiting in the airport doing something like that, you can pop out your cell phone and actually watch a movie directly on it. So they have one low monthly price for to be able to have unlimited streaming of all these different type of movies. And so if you want to go ahead and try it out right now, you can go to Netflix.com forward slash soldier and get a free 30-day trial. Yes, a free 30-day trial. So go to Netflix.com for a slash soldier.
All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video, but I'm really interested to see what you guys think that Apple is going to be doing in these next few years. Are they going to be successful? Are they going to go down the drain? Leave a comment down below and let me know. But again, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.